Pennsylvania has gone blue in six out of the last nine elections, mainly because of urban hubs like Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. But there's one county that has gone blue in every election since 1985, Erie. So what makes Erie swing blue when it's surrounded by red counties, a big ass lake, and Canada? Erie is home to one of Pennsylvania's oldest LGBTQ communities. They've been fighting for equal rights and non-discriminatory legislation in Erie County since the 80s. The only thing I've done since the 80s is forget the 80s. Now, 30 years later, they can finally celebrate their rights instead of just fighting for them. And that celebration is championed by people like Alex Spoon. I'm the president of NWPA Pride Alliance. We work to improve the visibility of the LGBT community in the greater community. Alex and the Alliance help host the Erie Pride Festival. Once considered a political rally, the annual festival has now transitioned into a march and celebration for all the progress that's come to the LGBTQ community. I want my time, let's go! And while there's plenty to celebrate, there's still a key component of the LGBTQ movement that needs to move forward. There's been so many gains in the last 10 years, we'll say, for the LGBT community. But the trans community, they're in a completely different state than the rest of the LGBT community. The old term gay bashing that still occasionally happens, trans bashing is a huge national problem. Tyler Titus understands the challenges the trans community faces. Currently a therapist in Erie, he knows firsthand why you can't forget the T in LGBTQ and that there are problems in the world that transcend gender identity. The trans is, is a gender piece, or the gender piece is completely different than the, than the sexual orientation piece. So I can understand why people are like, well, how do you even fit these together? I feel like people were just like, oh, this is a bunch of weird people, we'll just put them all in one group. And yeah. so that's kind of what happened. And so now it's just raising awareness, even within our own community of the LGBTQIA group that, hey, we're, we're here. We may not all be queer, but you know, we need rights too. What do you expect from a presidential candidate or what do you expect from your president to represent your community? The same thing I would expect from any human is just live and let live. Um, there's a lot of, are we allowed to swear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's a lot of f***ery that's going on. What kind of f***ery are you talking about? I mean, geez, the, the guns, the, the drugs, the, you know, the wars, the violence, all that kind of stuff. And for gender to even be a blip on someone's radar, really? why do you care what bathroom I'm going into? <laughs> yeah. And how does that make me the weirdo where yeah. you want to know where I'm peeing? Events like Pride Fest exist to celebrate our individuality, to remind the world that we can live whatever lives we want to live. Building empathy within different communities can break down local and national barriers and help build a stronger, better, and more fabulous union. Justice, how's your pride going today? Fantastic. <laughs> That's great. How do you show pride? Um, oh my goodness, by taking care of people. Feeling comfortable with who you are. And this is what I look like, and if you're not okay with that, then... It's all about equality. It's not about anything else. Everybody's allowed to live their life the way they want to live it. I love for a person to be themselves. Yeah. Because it took me a long time to, to realize who I was as a person. So, there's an election coming up. Yes. Are you excited about it? No. Do you think PA is going to go red or blue? Pennsylvania, probably... Probably blue. Probably. So I would say too. I hope we go blue. The other one scares me. <laughs> I, I, I just... I think it might go to the red. I think it's going to go to the red. That's a bold choice. Bold prediction here from Brian. Red to Pennsylvania, the biggest swing state. Okay, so big questions. Now. These are the most serious questions we're going to ask in this whole interview. What would my drag name be? Oh, my goodness gracious. A drag name? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> For the record, it's Boom Boom Marshmallow. So let's ask again, what makes Erie swing blue? <laughs> Not a simple question. Everyone we spoke to embraced their individuality. And when you do that, you don't fall neatly into the red team or the blue team. What matters here? Safety. Safety from things like violence, and drug addiction, and discrimination, and feeling safe to just be yourself. That's not gonna change whether the entire state turns red or blue. And that is what makes Erie such a compelling county in this critical swing state.